Hi there, thanks so much for stopping by last minute. The person I usually have be my portrait model had to call in six, so I appreciate you coming in on such short notice. Yeah, well, if you want to take a seat at the chair right behind you there, yeah, just get comfy. It's a very comfortable chair since I'm just doing your portrait. I don't need any uh, fancy poses or anything, so. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, give yourself a moment to get comfortable there, and then I'm just going to grab my materials, uh, tell you a little bit about what I'm going to be doing today, and then we will get started. Okay? <laughs> Fantastic. I've got here uh, this large sketchbook that I will be putting your uh, portrait into today. Today I'm just going to be doing a basic black and white sketch, which I will then be going in later and doing a full painting version of it. In an oil painting but I just don't want my models to have to sit around for you know hours at a time depending on the size of my portrait especially if I'm um, doing like a a large uh, canvas portrait it will take me you know four or five hours sometimes at least so don't want you obviously sitting around for that amount of time and I don't want to have to do you know multiple sessions with you and have to get you to keep coming in because that wouldn't be fair. So what I do, put your basic portrait in a sketch in here, and then I save it for when I have the time and I can go back in and do the actual painting. Fantastic. So, let's get this here. It's gonna be on a 11 by 14 inch page, okay? And that's the size. Just go through here. Just have some random sketches I'm trying to go through. And, uh, through here. pages in here. There we go. Let's see. Nice big page. And then I'll show you. Just got this special little uh, kind of ink pen here. I tend to just draw with this because I like it better than just a pencil. Uh, there's less smudging involved. It dries pretty quickly. So while I can't go back and erase things, I've kind of gotten to a point now where I can get a sense of your face and everything pretty quickly. And I know kind of how I'm going to go about drawing each of my models. For sure. So are you comfortable enough there? Good. Okay, great. I do have uh, water and stuff over there, and uh, I think I've got a couple uh, green teas left as well. So if that's something that you want, uh, let me know uh, if you need to take a break or if you need that. I think this sketch won't take too long because uh, I have already a sense just looking at you kind of how I want to design the portrait. And again, if I'm getting the basics of it and not going in and do full colors and all these different things, then it shouldn't be too long of a process. Okay. Okay, now you're seated. Fantastic. All good. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is go around and just inspect your face if that's okay. If you're okay with me getting a little close to you. I do do this with all my models. It's a practice that I've been doing for 
a couple months now where before I even pick up uh, my pen and my paper, I go in and just look at my model rather than kind of glancing back and forth, which I, I do do. But rather than doing that, I kind of get a full sense of who you are as a person, from what I can tell, you know, the confidence that you exude and the kind of energy and the vibe, for lack of a better word, that you have. So that I'm not just, you know, drawing some shapes on a page. I'm putting some care and energy into it. Okay? That's great. So, let me just go around here. Get a sense of hmm, what I'm looking at. shapes I think I want to do. Yeah. Curvature of your chin, your jawline, sides of your face, how heart shape or round or square your faces. Getting a sense of, as well, you know, the tones in your skin, the look on your face, if you have any piercings or tattoos or jewelry different hair colors, or styles, etc. All these sometimes little but meaningful things that, you know, give me a sense of who you are. I appreciate you being patient with this. I know this is not traditionally what a lot of portrait artists do. But I think it helps with my craft, you know, when my models are okay and willing to have me a little close to their face, then I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just looking at the sides of your face now. Yeah, so my thought is I'll be doing kind of a portrait, not entirely like straight on, but pretty close. Uh, I'll probably just have you ah, tilt your face kind of to the right or to the left just a little. So you don't have to worry, I won't be, you know, dealing with the back of your head or anything, or directly on the sides. I'm just looking to get a sense of 
your posture as well, and your stance, I guess, for lack of a better word. Kind of the shape of your ears, how your hair kind of falls down the sides of your face and in and around your ears. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I've got a sense of who you are and what I'm going to do for your portrait, okay? So. Just sit back, relax, <laughs> and just enjoy. <laughs> um, I will be doing a bit more close-up inspecting as I go along, okay? So uh, don't mind me. And uh, I tend to mutter to myself a little bit, if I'm being honest, as I'm really getting into the process and inspecting your face and sketching everything out, so I apologize. Don't mind me. It's just all part of my, you know, strange little process that I do. Okay? Great. So, let me get started here. And I apologize if I point this <laughs> pointy uh, ink pen at your face. If I get too close, just let me know, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
inward I think inward 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 and start doing the features of your face okay so comfortable fantastic <laughs> usually I have to tell my uh, models to not fall asleep on me in the chair because they can just get so relaxed Generally, I wouldn't mind, but don't fall asleep on me. I need you to keep your eyes open because I need to see your facial features. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do your best. Finishing up, sketching out your hair and the top of your head here. Just about done. Hmm. Now, I think, hmm. okay, this is your facial features, yes, 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 okay, let's start with your eyes, those lovely, lovely eyes, and your eyebrows, so,
down your nose. bad at it, but I do hate drawing my nose there. So finicky. They're almost as bad as drawing hands, really. Powered through the nose there. Now, I think into your mouth here, and then I'll be doing any little freckles or marks or anything on your face, anything that makes you just a little more uniquely you. Don't worry about smiling. No, no, no. It's all good. I like to draw my models in their most neutral state. So, just sitting there as you would, you know, waiting on a quiet bus or sitting at home doing nothing. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Just about done here. I know, it flies by so fast. <laughs> it's just too easy going, too chill. Uh, just going around, making sure I didn't miss anything on your face, any little details that I would definitely want to include. Couple little marks I want to make here, uh, and then we should be able to put there.
Yeah, so... No, sorry, you don't get to see the, the portrait. My one and only rule I have for my models are all that I ask beyond this is that you don't get to see the sketch. You have to be patient and wait till my uh, final painting is done. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I think it's all for the best because then you get to see the fun final product and not the mediocre sketch. Especially with my sketches, you know, because I'm not doing full detail, I'm not trying to get the final product. It definitely looks a little lackluster, you know. Looks good, but lackluster nonetheless. Yeah, well, I'm always looking for uh, new models, and so I'd love to have you in the future, for sure. Yeah. Just because my other model does come back doesn't mean uh, I couldn't use some more work, couldn't use a new model in my rotation, so yeah, I very much appreciate that. Yeah, I had a great time. Okay, let me just do one final comparison here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Make sure, oh, there's one little spot I want to get there. Okay, I think that's it. My supplies down here. that for later. <laughs> well, thank you so, 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 so much for being my model today. I'm so excited for you to see the final product. I'll just, uh, call or text you when, uh, it's ready to go on display. And when you can come by and maybe get an early access to see it before everyone else. Sound good? Great. Well, thank you so much, and I will see you later. Take care now. Bye-bye.